Monica Blush. This is Sarah from the Shank. This is your girl Denise with the Philly Coalition Battlegrounds with the Bounce Back Energy Drink. Bounce Back Energy oh, Drink. Tastes great, no crash. Need to get back? Try Bounce Back now. Welcome to Get Slated Frontiers Bomb. Make some noise! Shout out to our sponsors from New York, Bounce Back Energy Drinks. Check out our Facebook and um, facebook.com forward slash Get Slated Bad Bowls. Let's get to the first battle tonight. On my left, all the way from Wolverhampton, Pete Cashmore! Make some noise! Yeah. On my right, all the way from Liverpool, Bomb oh, Michelle! Well, make some noise! <laughs> Three sixty second rounds, first round on Pete, let's go! Shag me! <laughs> what has a damsy brang been? <laughs> this skanky, lanky, straggly, fraggly, angsty fucking wank streak? Ooh. Can he? See, when they told me it was Bombshell who was getting slated, I never hesitated or meditated. I just said, set a date, kid. I'll deck her face in. Woo! Metaphorically, I don't hit women. I'll come and see my mates in Goss Forth and then drop raw boss talk on what looks like some kind of weird, half human goth hawk. <laughs> now, I know when it comes to tactics, it's a cheap one to speak on the Pete Longer beak on her. But fuck me, Bombshell is nasally vast. If she ever tried to neck you, you'd be fatally slashed. The size of what lies between her eyes, insane. On a wet day, kids stand under it to get out of the rain. That's why I'm here to tell the people in the Toon Army that if she sneezes, then she's gonna cause a tsunami. Don't, don't, don't laugh at that one. That is shit. But if you haven't thought of rhinoplasty, you fucking ought to, because your nostrils have got squatters and running water. No man in his right mind would fuck with that nose, which is ironic since she could literally. Fuck with that nose. It really is the most gruesome of hooters. They could use their sniffs at NASA cooling supercomputers. Now my shit is magical, a miracle like rabbits in a hat. Her nose is tragic, inexplicable, and inhabited by bats. That's why this charmless snapper cannot par this rapper, looking like the spitting image Margaret Thatcher. Pete Cashmore, that geeky dweeb like most prob. Jen Catrall really needs a nose job. When Pete said he'd battered his bucket list, we panicked and sent round paramedics. I said, this round paramad dick has threatened to kick the bucket so often it's like a shit version of Stomp. The lengths that he'll go to just to get Toots to come round and give him a comfort chump. By which I mean a retro sweet. This middle of the road... <laughs> This middle of the road Midlands toad gets hard at the mere mention of a battle upload. Writing battle rounds is the only thing that turns him on. His last girlfriend dumped him because he yells TIME when he comes. <laughs> it's ironic that a guy who writes for a nudie mag is such a prude. He nearly spewed when he found out that as many people have shagged in his bed as queued for GTA 5. Your mates have had more sex in your bed than you. <laughs> And it's true, <laughs> he strives to... Uh, <laughs> he knows, he's probably fucked in his bed as well. <laughs> he strives to write more upmarket articles, but the efforts come across as farcical, not masterful. Trying to tackle depression with humour, I've seen more gratified responses to the diagnosis of tumours. His editorial was like a tutorial on how not to connect with your readership. Because of it, gangs of depressives lost their grip, flipped, stripped of the once positive influence of meds, went to the edge of cliffs. CBT became TBC as the Samaritans was overcome by dozens upon dozens of HuffPost subscribers screaming, I can't take any more of his satirical top ten lists! Trench-coated teen goths killing off entire schoolyards under the influence of gun bars. Stars of their own cashmore fantasy, they copy ominously a familiar sound as they empty each barrel round. Pew, pew, pew! Ah! Time! Bombshells, mom smells. 
Oh! Yeah! Ooh, Say ooh. it again. Bombshells, mom smells. Oh! You look like an intolerable emo after cholera and chemo. You look like you haven't had a meal in weeks, hang with ketamine dealing freaks, you've got one of the most vast and unappealing beaks, and constantly receding cheeks. You need a bap in you. Well, you need something. Hold it down, man, if you just want to talk about saying. You, you need a bap in you. Something at least containing fat to chew. An orange or an apple, too. Have some stew, that'd do. Because from the lack of you, I'd say you lack a clue that you look like somebody who's just had dysentery and several types of cancer, too. <laughs> and you ain't gangster boo, but me? I'm into stealing whips, blessing gems and thuggery. You are into stealing whips, S&M and buggery. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not saying for a minute that there's anything wrong with buggery. I am into popping the tools and other combustible gats. You are into bopping to tool and other industrial acts. And lately, Jenny's been producing many songs. If Jenny says they're any good, Jenny's wrong. Here is a list of things less awkward than Jenny riding beats. <laughs> Shit, hang on a minute. Oh yeah, right, I've got it. Walking into the bedroom, finding me, Mickey and Pamphlet inside the sheets. Woo! Opening up a home for abused children and inviting priests. <laughs> Telling your mate that his mum's vagina is well groomed, nice and neat. <laughs> Telling the same mate that deep-throating his dad is quite a feat. <laughs> Telling the same mate that his 12-year-old daughter likes nine-inch pipe to eat and swallows jism like a sweet. <laughs> Riding geese. Riding geese were really awkward. Watching a 40-year-old man attempting rhyming schemes and watching me trying to struggle into a regular size of jeans. <laughs> and now we're up in South Shields sharing a hotel. Well, later I'm going to shit in the sink and it's really going to smell. <laughs> Time. Yo, fuck Richard Whiteley! But I'd fuck Rachel Whiteley, she's tidy, G. You look like Jesse Pinkman with a thyroid problem. Biology, bitches! This onesie wearing, whack Kerouac hypochondriac who occasionally dresses quite a lot like a lumberjack who's having panic attacks has seen more gashes on his arms than in the sack. Shh. I'm talking, bitches! Hang on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Let's talk consequences. When we arranged this battle, I suggested compliments, but he said he wanted me to be mean. So it looks like he's not just a comfort eater, he is a glutton for punishment. Now you write advice for men's mags and stuff, well let's have some advice from me. When you like a lady, and you want to put her, your willy in her, it helps if you remember her birthday. He knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> See, it's not just the financial freeze that's causing nuts to feel the squeeze, it's journo cunts like this chatting breeze. The circulation lately has been more disappointing than Cashmore with a pack of fake Viagra and arthritic knees. He's 40 going on 14. He used to work in porn cleaning sex toys, but he got fired for being a turn-off. He's forced his cock into more pre-teens mouths than a bottle of Smirnoff. I'll leave you lower than your serotonin levels on a Monday night, sinking through the substrata of your own homemade hell. You've got worse tattoos on you than the guy from Memento. Nosh team are forcing you to lay low, and due to your fallout with innuendo, your two-player game is in a worse decline than Nintendo. Time! Next one on All right, let's get this moth-eaten goth beaten. You've got the voice of Kevin Keegan, and I can't believe you're not very vegan. The first time I saw you eating bangers and bacon and that, I think it's fair to say that I was taken aback. You see, I would have sworn that you were governed by a love of corn. Mashed up spuds and porn would be your idea of supper porn. The simple fact I've seen you chewing on a banger is as weird as the idea of you spewing on a banger, which is never going to happen. Okay, scheme time. 
Sonny, check it. Let's get this going. Go on, Pete. Shut the Here fuck up, man! All bear witness that I'm best. Her bars are duff, that's a given. Woo! Chop her in a spree at speed, carnage and killing. Shear her off a perch, cause I'm crew with my fierce wit. When I bar tons, I can give my nuts a big dunk in a pierce bits. I'm a rat ledge, when I boom songs, it's danger. This gets by, I fuck her ass up like a sissy batty buttery arranger. I'm sick, no remedy, what can you do but obey? Jen, this wordsmith has parred you, so bow your head, scarp her away. Slow it down, I said. Okay, Cerny, check it, let's get this to Owen. I'll bear witness that I'm best, her bar's duff, that's a given. Woo. Chop her in a spree at speed, carnage and killing. Shear her off a perch, cause I'm cruel with my fierce wit. I bar tons, I give my nuts a big dunk in a pierce bits. I'm a rat ledge, that one's shit, I'm sorry about that. I'm a rat ledge, when a boom songs it's danger. This gets by her. Gets by her. <laughs> fuck her ass, fuck her ass like a sissy batty butt rearranger. I'm sick, no remedy, what can she do but obey? Jen, this word Smith has parred you, so bow your head and harper away. Yes. Now, yes. It's respectful. now if you like what I now if you like what I did, that's because the desire to see this slag in a bag is what got Newcastle United! Woo. Ah! That's it. Jez and Mark from Peep Show. <laughs> or Adrian Childs' inner child after a night's sleep on a damsie's pillow. But the thing is, I quite like a man with good childbearing hips. The taste of mid price Rioja on his lips, and the ability to rapidly consume a large plate of chips. So you'll have to excuse me as my demeanour slips, and I'm like, damn. That's one fine slice of ham. <laughs> I'd like to stick that between my baps like some crispy bacon. This is Pete Forty from Wolverhampton. He likes wine, rhymes, women, battles, consonants, vowels, and another consonant, please. He's mildly socially incompetent, but we know that's not all that matters, really, is it, ladies? See more of Pete in this week's centre folds with extra folds. Truth be told, your face needs a modesty bag. You turn up stag to events and try to shut up some slag bar hag, magically pulling bottles of wine out of your Mary Poppins man bag. At Stand Tall, you shared your hotel room with some random man, some battle fan who you'd only ever met online. You tried swinging the other way sometimes, but the only way that you could ever get nuts on your back was with a needle and ink. And check out his back later if you're wondering what that means. What's next, the fucking Guardian? See, the thing is, you're just sort of okay. And I think that's what scares you. Being mediocre and lack of sense of direction. And on closer inspection, your life is emptier than a collection jar at the Hitler Museum. So maybe his retirement battle actually is a suicide note. Shit, man. Pete, I take back everything I wrote. I'm so sorry. I like a troubled soul. Get your coat. <laughs> Time. Wow, that was personal. I'm going to make this really quick. I'm going to go 3 0 Pete Cashmore because Bombshell's appearance offends me. 3 0 Pete Cashmore. Bombshell had some good stuff, but I would say Pete Cashmore killed it. First round of Bombshell, the left out there. Pete. I think you're better. Welcome back to Get Slate with us of our first battle of the night. Sorry to sponsors, a bounce back energy drinks, but the judges went 3 0 with Pete Cashmore. Make some noise!